What up, guys? This is another Adonis review. Today I thought we would cover uh, Far Cry 6's Voss Insanity DLC 1. Um, and then I'll probably do DLC 2 sometime soon because that's out. And then DLC 3 one day when, when that comes out as well. And kind of just go over, you know, I, I've never been the type to buy uh, Far Cry 6 you know, or any any Far Cry DLC in the past. I, I've never really been pushed to it, um, but I really enjoyed Far Cry 6 overall. I thought, you know, they really knocked up the side missions, you know, not just having, you know, forts and shit to take down, and, and they, you know, kind of really changing up treasure hunts, you know, all that stuff was really fun. You know, so this is the first time I've, I've ever kind of seen, and Far Cry 5's DLC looked really kind of interesting, but I didn't really like the gameplay in Far Cry 5. Like, I don't know. Far Cry 5 was, for some reason, one of the, my least enjoyed Far Cry's. Um, so, anywho, so I've never bought Far Cry before. Uh, so, you know, the DLC before. Uh, but I enjoyed Far Cry 6 so much. So, I was like, you know what? I want to play more of it. Uh, I don't want to delete it from my, from my hard drive just yet. So, I'm going to get the DLC and uh, see if it's worth it. So, the first DLC you get is, is the Boss Insanity. Um, basically, it's a self-contained, uh, you know, like, let's say, island, right, uh, map uh, that's specifically designed for this DLC. It's beautiful, as you can see. This is gameplay here of it. It's a gorgeous map. It's, uh, it's a little bit different than the map for, uh, you know, Far Cry 6, in, you know, which is like Cuba, because um, this is kind of more of a replica of the island in Far Cry 3. Um, and that tri tropical vibe, and with, you know, a lot of kind of twisted uh, aspects of it adjusted to, to Voss's mind, because you're supposed to be inside Voss's mind uh, going crazy. So, you know, so there's like sharks flying around, and, you know, there's, you know, boats floating in the air, and pieces of land flying, and, you know, all, all kinds of crazy stuff. It's, it's, uh, you know, it could be a little bit crazier, but it's, it's still pretty cool overall. You know, beautiful island with cool little scenes. So, anyways, um, you know, so the, the, the concept of it is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, the, the whole DLC and essentially what you need to do is you need to complete three giant main steps. Uh, you basically get three different blades of a, uh, of, a, of a sword or knife. And then once you get it, you know, you, you complete, you know, you're basically done with it. Um, but... If you, uh, you, you can get, you start off with only like a pistol, you, you can slowly get, you complete challenges that are, are sprinkled around the whole map that allow you to, like this, you know, just sprinkle everywhere that allow you to get better weapons so you can get a shotgun and a machine gun, a sniper and stuff. Um, and essentially you can do anything you want at, at whatever point. So if you want to try to take on everything with a pistol, you can, or if you want to slowly... You know, kill people, give, give you cash, which you can use to upgrade your guns once you've, you know, completed challenges to do it. And, um, you know, or upgrade your health or give you a special ability, and, you know, just basically so you become better, stronger, and, you know, have an easier time winning this. Uh, but the, the negative being that if you die, uh, you basically, you'll lose all the stuff you have. If you complete a challenge, you'll keep your gun, uh, but you have to rebuy it, you know, with purchase. You gotta go kill people and stuff, so. Uh, the key phrase there is don't die, because uh, you're gonna be fucking annoyed and, and it's gonna be very inconvenient. Um, but basically, yeah, you just walk around the map, you know, try to get yourself as strong as you think you need to be, uh, to do the three biggest challenges to get each piece of the sword, and, and then that kind of covers it all. Um, they say, you know, straightforward, essentially, you know, it might take four or five hours to beat, but if you, you know, if you really took your time, try to upgrade yourself to that, so you're just a, a straight killing machine, by the time you get to the end of it, where's this guy shitting me from? Oh my god, I'm blind. Where is he? Oh my god. I don't see him. But, uh... Oh, he's right in front of me. God, fucking idiot. Stop it. Oh my god, look, I missed that. What is going on? He's going through him? Oh god. Fucking ridiculous, man! I suck. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so you know, overall, it's a nice little piece of, of content. You know, it's nice to play around. It's nice to add into it. It's, it's you know, it's pretty fun. Um, kind of repetitive. Doesn't really get too interesting. But uh, you know, what can I say? Um, I think it's worth it. It's 15 bucks uh, just to buy it normally. 
Um, or you can get all the DLC for 40 bucks as a traditional price. And um, I think it also gives you reins, uh, the reins to, to play uh, Far Cry 3's Blood Dragon, which was an, an extended DLC of Far Cry, where it's, you know basically you have your own map as well, which takes place um, over like an 80s, like an 80s kind of action movie. You get like cool futuristic guns, and you're like a cyborg. Um, it's kind of cool. They didn't. I don't know if it's been remastered fully. I played it. The, the graphics aren't as great as uh, you know as it could be, let's say. But, um, you know, it's just nice to replay it on, you know, slightly better graphics. And, you know, you get it with that other DLC. So, my own it'll be all is I think this it is worth it for 15 bucks. Um, you know, especially getting all of it for 40 it's not bad. Uh, especially since you get Far Cry Blood Dragon. Uh, if you do do it, uh, I would say that, you know, the best deal you could really hope to get, you know, if you want to wait for it to be discounted. You know, I mean, if you can get the season pass for 30 bucks, uh, you know, basically 10 bucks per... Uh, DLC, it's worth it. That's that's worth it for sure. I think you'd you'd enjoy it. It'd be worth you'd be bang for your buck. You know, it's gonna be definitely you know another twenty hours, twenty five hours of content um, for thirty bucks. It's not bad, dollar an hour. Um, but you know, or just buying singly, like I said, fifteen bucks for it, it's pretty fair. Um, it's definitely nothing to you know that's gonna break your bank and. It's, it's, it's simple, contained, you know, extension. So if you enjoy Far Cry 6 like I did, um, and you want to add a little bit more to it, this isn't a bad way to do it. Um, I kind of, it, it would be better if they allow you to kind of use your guns that you collect in Far Cry 6, because you really do get a cool arsenal, and you know, I worked really hard to get the, the guns I had in Far Cry 6. And the fact that, uh, you know, you, you kind of only get bare minimum guns, you have to do so much just to get them. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, you know, it's probably the, the thing that kind of rubs me the, 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 the wrong way the most. But, with that being said, again, 15 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. So, I think it is worth it. Like I said, if you can get the total season pass for 30 bucks, you know, that's probably the best deal I can imagine with this. Uh, and, and I'll let you know um, how the second DLC goes, uh, you know, sometime hopefully this week. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a good one. And, uh, you know, for a fun fact, you know, rhinos' horns are made out of hair. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's true. Uh, you can Google it if you want to check.